Hey everyone, Stephen here at My Life Outdoors. So there's that scene in The Revenant that has been described as the most realistic depiction of a bear attack ever portrayed on film. Hey everyone, Future Steven here. So YouTube wouldn't let me play that Revenant clip without penalizing me, so I'm just gonna put a link in the description below. Check it out if you're interested, but be warned, it is fairly disturbing beyond that point, which is not only the reason why I stopped it where I did, but it's also the reason why, for the better part of the last 10 to 12 years, I've carried bear spray on just about every hike that I've gone on, because I never want to experience anything even remotely like that. But lately, I've started to wonder, is bear spray really necessary? And do you need bear spray at all when hiking in black bear country? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Is bear spray really necessary when it comes to black bears? So uh, a few months back, I published an ultralight loadout video. And in that video, I talked about how I've never really seen anyone include bear spray in their ultralight loadouts. And I said, this is something else that is conspicuously missing from most ultralight loadouts. I don't hear anyone talking about it. I don't see it listed in anyone's lighter pack. And the only person I've even heard mention it is Justin from Justin Outdoors. And he omits it from his lighter pack because he says that you, the audience, may not be hiking in bear country. And I just want to know, like, I love Justin, but where are you guys hiking that isn't in bear country? Country. I mean, even Western Arkansas, East Oklahoma, and East Texas has bears in them. I mean, you may not run into one while you're hiking in those areas, but if you did, I would want to have bear spray. And that is probably the one thing from that video that I got the most comments about. Several of you educated me on all the many places that don't even have bears. Thank you for that. And others told me that bear spray is not needed in black bear country at all. While still others thanked me for including it because bears are nothing to mess around with. Needless to say, there are a lot of varied opinions out there. But I'll tell you what some of your comments did. It got me questioning whether or not bear spray really is necessary. I've always thought it is, even in black bear country. And that's important to note. It most certainly is necessary in grizzly country. But black bears are considerably different than grizzlies. And one commenter in particular put me onto some research that got me to take a chance and leave the bear spray at home. And wouldn't you know it, that would be the trip where I came face to face with a bear. So here I am, first time outside of grizzly country that I've seen a bear and it's no more than 30 to maybe 50 yards in front of me. And I've left the bear spray at home. And I'm thinking, what do I do? Now, I've seen him, but I don't really think he's seen me yet. And, and I start to think about everything that I know about black bears in particular and what my best course of action is. And everything I know says to let him know that I'm there, to try to scare him off, to look big, throw rocks, and that kind of stuff. And so I'm standing there with all these thoughts going through my head, and I'm about to start yelling at this bear, and I'm wondering, what do I do if he starts charging me? I mean, I've got nothing. And in that moment, I really began to wish that I'd brought my bear spray with me. So I yell, Hey, bear! Hey, bear! Hey, bear! <laughs> and that bear don't care. And so after a while, my wife and I looked at each other and we just decided to, to hike on past. And that's what really caused some conflict in me because not only did I wish that I had my bear spray with me, but I truly didn't need it and I've never needed it. But that's the thing is you never need it until you do. The research. So is bear spray effective against black bears? Well, most certainly it is. I mean, it's potent stuff. I've actually been sprayed by a cloud of it before. It's nothing to mess around with. And most of the articles that you will find online, that's what they talk about. They talk about its effectiveness. But that doesn't really answer the question of whether or not it's necessary when it comes to black bears. I mean, gasoline is effective at exterminating ants, but it's not necessary. You see, Black bears are different than grizzly bears. Most fatal bear attacks are almost all grizzly bear attacks. In fact, there have been less than 67 fatal black bear attacks over the last 120 years, even though black bear outnumber grizzlies 10 to one. That alone might have been enough to convince me that I don't need bear spray, but then I found some research that was conducted in Sequoia National Park just a few years ago, and that study found that among other things, that throwing rocks and, and even chasing after black bears was just as, if not more effective than bear spray. But 
what about a mother with her cubs? I mean, that's what you always hear about. Those are the most dangerous bears, right? But according to the North American Bear Center, black bear mothers are pretty reluctant to defend their cubs. According to them, researchers routinely capture cubs right in front of their mothers and have never been attacked. And according to them, you are more likely to be killed by mosquitoes than you are black bears, with less than one person a year dying at the hand of black bears. And bear spray may not even be the most effective way to deter a black bear. So what do you do? Not only is all this research making me question the need for bear spray with black bears, but I don't really want to carry it. I mean, it's, it's bulky and it's heavy, it's expensive. And for all these reasons, I would much rather leave it at home if it wasn't for the fact that I just feel safer when I have it. And not just for bears, but for any animal or human that might want to cause me harm. I just feel better carrying bear spray. I feel more protected. Which is why I'm going to try something just a little bit more manageable, like Halt Dog Repellent Spray. Now, Halt has not been EPA approved for use on bears, but back in the 1980s, when researchers were doing initial tests with bears and pepper spray, they didn't have counter assault or any of the modern potent bear sprays. They had dog deterrent sprays like Halt. And what they found was that Halt, even with its lower amounts of irritant, was still effective at deterring black bears. Now, it was not tested on aggressive bears or charging bears, and it probably isn't a good candidate in those situations. It has a much shorter spray and it doesn't create a cloud like modern bear spray. But as a compromise for full-on bear spray that is most likely unnecessary, well, I hope it's going to provide a little bit of peace of mind while saving weight in black bear country. So this is what I'm going to do when hiking with black bears. Not hiking with black bears when hiking in black bear country. And I probably need to say that if you decide to carry a halt instead of bear spray or no spray at all, then you do so at your own risk. And I cannot be held liable for any injuries that you might incur as a result of your decisions. I also want to reinforce one more time that I'm talking about areas where only black bears are present. If you are hiking in areas where you might encounter a grizzly bear, you need to have actual EPA approved bear spray and know how to use it. And I'm curious what your thoughts are. I I've learned so much from your comments and the whole reason why I made this video is because of people like you commenting on videos like this. And so leave me a comment or read some of the comments that other people are leaving. And if you want to support me in the videos I'm putting out, then the easiest way is to simply subscribe. Or you can buy one of my awesome Take a Seat shirts at mylifeoutdoors.com store. Be sure to like this video and follow me on Instagram at mylifeoutdoors. And as always, thanks for watching.